Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video we will talk about expression transformation. So what is an expression transformation? Expression transformation is a, uh, uh, a transformation of Informatica in which we define some very simple functions and we can even define the variables and through those variables we can take out the desired output in the output ports. So for example, we have a table called employee. Here we have let's say 15 to 20 rows and if we want to generate a sequence for all of those rows we are going to make a column called serial number let's say. Now to generate the sequence from 1 until 20 that is end of the rows we can either use the sequence generator transformation which is going to do this job or we can use an expression transformation in which we will declare a variable and we will assign an initial value to the variable and make it uh, at every count the variable will uh, keep on adding the value by one. Now uh, as it uh, goes on till the end of the rows it will insert the value in the output ports as 20. So let us see how this works. For example we have this table called as vimp in which we have 15 rows and this is the table vimp target one in which we want to lo uh, load the data in the target and here we have this column called as serial number. This is the column where we want to actually input the data, the serial numbers for the number of records of the employee table. So how do we do it? Let us first of all create a mapping. M target and then we say something expression. We just then simply drag the source table that is employee and we drag in the target table as well that is employee target. Now what do we do? We are going to create the transformation. We are going to create an expression transformation. Let's say trn and target underscore expression. And then we drag all the columns in this transformation. Now let us define some variables. If we go on the ports, we can create a new port and let's call it dummy let's let's call it v dummy which is which stands for variable dummy so we are just creating a dummy variable here it is neither an input port nor it's an output port it's just a variable port and what this variable port will do it will always add a value of one to itself And then we assign this value to a sequence. Let this be the integer. Let this also be the integer so it doesn't throw any errors that it just showed. And this value, the sequence, the sequence port that we have created, this should be an output port because we are not taking it as an input from the previous transformation. So this is, becomes an output port and the value of this sequence comes from the dummy variable that we have created. Now let's apply it. As we see the sequence port has appeared here. What we are going to do is we are going to just drag and drop all of these columns here to the target. So the serial number then gets populated by this 
output sequence code that we have created whose value is derived from the variable v dummy let's save it and go in the workflow manager now let's create a new workflow let's see if it's open yes it is let's create a new workflow here wf and target and we say expression again we create a session task the session task we create is attached to this mapping m target expression that we have created and we finally define the parameters that is oracle target and the oracle source we connect this save it open the monitor window let the monitor be connected the integration service let us connect and open this folder where we are going to run this particular workflow and finally we run the workflow start the workflow here it shows running and it has succeeded now let's go in the database and check the data of this vm target one So after refresh, we see that serial number column has got populated from 1 till 15. So this is how we use the expression transformation. For different purposes, we use the transformation. Here we also have several other functions. If we go in the ports and if we look at this, let's say this variable that we define, if we want to use any other function, we can go on all functions and here we have all the list of different functions. We can use the care function we can use the if function we can use the function to find the greatest of the values so all these kinds of functions are there we can use the date function the num function to convert it to check whether it's number the function to find the length so everything for different reasons we can use these functions so this is about expression transformation thank you